So when you get an older amp, uh, people often say, oh, you need to do a cap job on that amp. And some people go, eh, do I really need to? Uh, and I see a lot of older amps that uh, have not had a cap job done. Uh, this is a 71 Super Reverb that uh, I've had for 20 years sitting on my shelf, just the chassis. And I'm going to uh, get it ready to, uh, to play. So this amp hasn't been played in probably 20 years. Uh, here's the cap pan, so that has held on by four screws. And if we can get a close look at what's going on here, you can actually see that these caps here have spewed their guts out. Uh, so this amp would, uh, if, if we had it up and running, would be humming or just be generally noisy. Um, the overdrive tone would have some weird uh, characteristics to it like a ring modulator and those kinds of things and it certainly wouldn't be performing its best and more importantly uh, theoretically one of these caps shorting out could take out the whole power supply and kill the power transformer. Uh, the first thing you want to do before you do any work uh, is make sure you order up the right supplies which uh, uh, you want to have those on hand before you start uh, and the caps you're replacing are polarized meaning the positives go one particular way, the negatives go another. Uh, this particular pair here, near the, the main filters here, are what they call a totem pole, so the positive side is this end, and then the negative side comes around. So they're actually stacked, so because these each handle 350 volts, uh, you're getting uh, uh, 600, 700 volts of power handling uh, for overloads. Uh, so these caps haven't exploded, but these ones with 500 volts of uh, uh, voltage DC handling have failed and, and spewed their guts out. Uh, to make a simple tool to do your filter cap discharge, you take a resistor, uh, solder it to two wires, put a pair of alligator clips on it, and all you do is clip onto a ground, a negative side, anywhere, so it could be a chassis screw, it could be um, the edge of the amplifier, and then without touching things with your fingers, um, clip on, whoops, clip onto one of your positives, ground it, and leave it there. So that little, that little setup will discharge your filter caps. Pretty straightforward. 